This is Joe Pichu, and I am going through it today. <laughs> Work sucks. I matched with someone last week. I've been trying to set something up, and they just they they dropped the ball three times in a row. Just first two times they something happened, and today, I uh, I don't know. I I left the message this time. I I had the number this time. And I'm like, look, it's okay if you just change your mind. Like, you don't have to keep letting me set something up and then canceling it. Also, the last time I played after this session, I did a little bit of grinding. And then the game crashed for the first time. And then my computer slowed the fuck down by a lot. And then when I came back to it again, I had to fight Chernobog again. And I had to do the grinding again. Just... Fuck! <laughs> and then most importantly, this guy is... This stupid elephant thing is based on beats. And he doesn't... He doesn't have any like special cool attacks or abilities or stats or anything. Uh, it's just... It's nothing. <laughs> and then they added... On top of this, they added other dream meters that I didn't know about. Like this guy, he's a raccoon or tanuki meow thingy and all it has is four things like what is the point some of these guys like barely have anything to unlock or right, i think i already released the ones like like they don't have anything also i don't have all the like the red ability unlocked that i should i'm missing a few air combo pluses and i still don't have leaf bracer or once more <laughs> but anyway gonna play the final world now the world that never was but the dream version so it's different um i have been to see fantasia 2000 i'm gonna try to tell the story or as organized as i can as organized in the jump and shoot way because you know you know how i be sometimes going all over the damn place just trying to talk about a single fucking thing but you know what? Why don't you try multitasking your brain also playing a dang video game at the same time? Alright? I don't want to hear it. This looks like the inside of the Death Star for some reason. Oh. In a world of you in a... Alright, so Fantasia 2000. Uh, the Seek... The Squeakle? <laughs> the Squeakle to... I don't know how I'm supposed to get all this shit. So... It starts with the same kind of intro that the first one did. Except this one has multiple hosts that are just celebrities. And for each segment, it's a different celebrity. And I, I don't really understand why we're doing this. Um, you get somebody... Ouch. You get somebody introducing the, the song, a little bit of history about it. That's cool. It's the same as, you know, the first Fantasia. Uh, they open with... Very early CG. It, you can tell. <laughs> uh, I think this might have been. This 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 came out in 1999, and it's called 2000. It's preparing to be cool. Cause, you know they started putting 2000 at the end of everything. Pokemon 2000, Fantasia 2000, uh, Andre 2000. <laughs> before he he changed his name. Um, and then there was, uh, what else? I don't know. Another example, you, you, you fucking figure it out. So the first segment, uh, Steve Martin hosted, um, he, they try bits and it's, it's not funny. <laughs> okay. Reality shift. Cut to the white links in the chains. Cut to the, all the white links of three attacks to deal major damage. So is this... Do I have to, like, Middle Gear Rising free mode it, or, or what? Keep going is the uh, the thing we must now do. So I'm going to save for safety, because I don't want to do that stupid thing again. All right. Uh, uh, the first song is the Symphony Number no. 5. You've heard this song. It was... I don't know. It, it made famous by Mother 3. <laughs> against the uh the family matters the song is called family matters in uh 
Mother 3. These guys are insane. I, I forgot to mention, like, when you first come to this world, the first, the very first room, you'll be, you can, like, die instantly. <laughs> because there's just so many enemies, like, immediately. And it's really hard on, like, harder modes, like, critical mode and proud mode, etc. Alright, oh yeah, I have a better dash now. And I turn off the thing... Oh, I tried to turn off the thing. That cancels it when you... Because I like turning off the uh, the sliding sidewinder thing. Okay, let's see how we do this. What? Okay, you just have to do it in three hits. Okay. You don't have to, like, do any fancy button presses like the previous two worlds. Alright. And... Yeah, this Tiffany number five. Uh, there's an animation about these. Each animation has like a better narrative, I think. But some of the song choices like don't fit, or are very interesting, or go with the music like at all. And I'm like, this could have been any song. I'll I'll say for each one whether I think the song works or not. But uh, the the first one is about the butterflies. They're running around. They're running away from the evil butterflies, I guess. Um, it's just a light show. <laughs> Whoa, there! Alright. Zero, I, I'm putting on some magic for Riku, because you kind of need magic to disrupt some of these guys, because they're fucking hard. Uh, yeah, the, the good butterflies versus the dark butterflies, I don't remember what happens exactly. Um, did I get the chest? Yes. Uh, it's similar to the first Fantasia, where the first bit is uh, about, you know, um... Or it's just they use, like, a little abstract animation to just kind of go with the song. It doesn't matter what's happening on with it. Uh, do I have to hit this? I don't remember this at all in the original game. You just have to hit this little thingy here. Alright. Pew! Pew! You gotta watch this every single time. Shout! Shout out! Why don't we get? Why don't we get that Keyblade? The fucking Lisa Frank Keyblade over there. The stained glass Lisa Frank Keyblade. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's it for Symphony Number Five. Uh, holy shit! Oh my God! They put the lasers there. This is the laser latch. Oh, jeez! <laughs> All right, I get it. Your Ze this is this all this whole room is based on Zemnis. Now that I think about it, all right. Achieve. I I want to wait. Okay, okay. All right. Can I like do anything <laughs> to uh, stop this thing? Uh, I guess I have to wait until we get to the top. Ow! Kiraga. Oh boy. Okay. Ah, Alright. Like I said earlier, oh my god. Steve Martin comes to host and he he's like, I play an instrument too. Uh, camera back on me and then it goes away to, for the real composer to talk about something and then it's not funny. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what they were thinking. And the next song is uh, Pines of Rome. I don't know how it goes. I would say you've heard this song, but I've actually don't hear that song <laughs> in other media, like, ever. You know, it's fine if they want to pick uh, lesser-known orchestra pieces to, you know, I don't know, maybe increase their popularity instead of just going, like, for, like, the mainstream ones, like, Beethoven, or uh, not Beethoven. Well, Beethoven, like, in the first movie. Um... Uh, Wolfgang, Symphony Number no. Five. Just like, pick other ones too from other, you know, cultures and backgrounds. Wow, I'm Soros level fifty. I don't know how to get that guy. Oh, gee. oh, okay. All right. Now we can begin to kill ourselves. 
What does this do? Woo! Okay, we're not dealing with you right now. Yeah, this one is about the whales. You... They... There's a little whale segment. Uh, it's about this whale who's flying around. Uh, just whales... Flying around! It's just whales flying around. And this is what I thought Riku's area in Symphony of Sorcery was based on, because that actually has, like, the ice flow that you kind of see in the whale short. Um, but it, it's just... It's just the, about the whale being cute, I guess. Not really much else going on there. Huh. Oh, okay. Uh, here. Yeah, it's just the whales are being cute. They fly around, fart. They they fly around by farting. You can hear the farts if you're a good listener. But I'm just kidding. But uh, this is one of those. Um, seg oh jeez, this is one of those segments where I feel like it could have been any song because it, it doesn't really go with the music. Oh, the boy. Oh, the boy. Double flight. Fucking stop! Can't you see you're tearing us apart? Pew pew. I do like lining up the button better. In the DS, the 3DS original, you had to. Slice in a direction, which could be horizontal, diagonal, whichever way you wanted it to be. Um, but in this one, you just had to... You just press the button. It's fine. Oh, God. Now we gotta go all the way up, but not before... Should I just put on Kiraga and stop fucking around with the potions? Because you couldn't run out of potions, but you don't, you don't run out of uh, cure. But I feel like... I don't know if it's... The amount of you heal is proportionate to your actual magic stat. It, it just makes sense to me that it would do that. Uh, so the next segment is Rhapsody of Bloom. Yes, okay. Rhapsody of Bloom is probably the best part of Fantasia 2000. It's this like uh, jazz inspired style. It reminds me kind of like Andre 3000, the, the TV show. Or class of three thousand, rather. Let's see what's on this hallway. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't die. Yeah. And it's just, uh, it's a song about being in New York, or the big city, rather. Or I don't know if it's New York specifically, but um, it's just, it's a little narrative narrative about these these characters in New York, just or being in the big city, and. The way it plays out is like all their, everything they do just kind of like intertwines in a neat way. Like all these characters, like what they do, they're all longing. You can see that they're all longing for, you know, some kind of big break or something. And it's really nice, like to see in my opinion. Uh, so does this, is this a new thing? Okay, so this is like Sora, or this is like Riku's glide. Sora gets a glide. Rika gets a jump. There's a lower reason why, because Aqua passes down. Or I guess maybe Terra and Aqua both pass down their things to uh, Riku. So that's why Riku gets double flight. And because Aqua has double flight. Gotta kill these fucking Dragos shooting the damn eggs. It's not. Oh Jesus! With the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alright, gotta get that cure ready. <laughs> No! Ah! They could do that. That's right. Oh! They cut off my drift. Oh! 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 It's magic. Alright. I'm out of here. Stop. Go away. Okay! See, that's the problem. With, uh... I want to stop locking on. I want to leave. <laughs> Leave me alone, I just want to eat snacks. This is the animation that goes with the music. It's about as fast paced, ouch, with the, uh, the animation too. So like, it's it's uh, equally as good. I feel like the, the energy is the same, you know? It's not like the others, where the either the animation could have been anything or the, the song could have been anything. Like, this is just the perfect blend of like both things, which is kind of the whole point of Fantasia. 
you know, unifying both things because it's, you know, animation and music. It's cool. Uh, yeah, every character has, like, is very unique. I don't know. I have no notes. It's good. It's the best part of Fantasia 2000. Um, and what, there's, there's no dialogue. Of course there's not. But, like, you can kind of build in the blanks of, like, what each character wants just from the visuals and their body movement alone. It's good. I have no notes. <laughs> I don't know why you keep talking about it. Fuck. <sighs> okay, I remember why Dark Slicer sucks in this game because it only it only affects one enemy when it because it, it does time stop, but it only affects one enemy. Whereas the Splicer in Birth by Sleep, it hit like the surrounding enemies and you hit all of them. This sucks <laughs> in this game, so I'm gonna go back to taking it off. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put on dark fire shit zone. Uh, okay, that's that works for me. Also, I have a bunch of attack haste, so I have to have attack on. All right, next segment is Betty Midler appears, and I'm like, wow, she's kind of hot. Total myth material right here, and then. I I look her up and <laughs> it she's the fucking witch from Hocus Pocus and I was like God damn it she was Hocus Pocus I'm simping for Hocus fucking Pocus what's wrong with me anyway <laughs> she introduces uh, piano concerto number two shit fuck and it's this like Tin Soldier story which is almost kind of like the Nutcracker. You know, there's the story. It's the tin soldier who's trying to get with, like, the ballerina clock, uh, cuckoo clock girl. I don't know what the fuck you call it. And, um, this also has, like, early CG, like, kind of around the time Tor Story was out, I guess. Or maybe that was, like, the only thing they did so far. Um, uh, in terms of Disney, Pixar, etc. But, uh, it, I, I don't remember how the song goes. I remember the animation. He gets lost, and, or the, the, ti the tin soldier gets lost because he has no, first of all, he has no leg, and he wants to dance <laughs> with the, uh, the ballerina toy thing. Okay, these little ghosts gotta go. <laughs> Where's Luigi when you need him? He's always off doing his stupid Gooigi thing. He's always off... Going to some Wii U event like he was invited or something. Uh, all right. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember the song at all. It's just. It, it, in ironically, I think that song would have worked for Fantasia One, where they actually play the Nutcracker Suite because it's like a similar story. <laughs> It's not, I know the Tin Soldier isn't exactly a Nutcracker, but it, it would have at least, like, maybe fit better. I don't know. The song they picked for the Tin Soldier, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Piano Concerto Number 2. It doesn't work. I don't care. <laughs> that That's short. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care for it. I hate that you can't immediately press the button once you see the prompt come up. You just have to, like, wait two seconds. It's so annoying. Oh shit, it's the room with the people and the things. How did I already get that chest? What? This room is confusing. Oh, that's right. This room, you don't... That whole, like, corridor stairway thing, it's gone completely now. It's it's this room now. That's weird. I'm gonna save for safety. I only went up two levels. That's fine. The next segment... Is I don't remember who introduced it. It's Carnival and Car Carnival of Animals, <laughs> Animals, <laughs> Animals. It's the one with the flamingo and the yo-yo. It's like two minutes long. Uh, it's really weird. Yeah, it's okay. It's the, about the flamingo who has a yo-yo. The other flamingos, flamingos, flamingo. The other missing nose don't like it. That's it. Uh. And then at the end, he gets a bunch of yo-yos. That's it. I'm just like, that's it? 
And I said, that's it, in succession, five million times. No other Let's Player can ever say they have done that when describing something. <laughs> I, have, I have no notes in the bad version of the saying. <laughs> no notes because it sucks. Uh, I, I don't even think the original Fantasia had, like, that short segments. <laughs> like, wh what was the point of that? Uh, the song could have been anything... Or, I, I mean, the song couldn't be anything, but at least they went with the music, I guess. Uh, so something important is up here, if and then I recall. Oh, it's nothing. It's just more jerks who are definitely going to kill you. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, like, I pressed the button and it didn't do anything. And then I have to wait. Now I, I missed. <laughs> now I have to do it again. Oh, okay. Well, you can't win all of them. Uh, next segment is Penn and Teller. They come in and they they're also doing a bit <laughs> and It's not funny. They just do their usual like we're edgy magicians um, I don't know here's Here's the sorcerer's apprentice again, <laughs> and I was like did they really just show the sorcerer's apprentice again? This is Fantasia 2000 and you just do it again Come on <laughs> uh it's not even like reanimated. It's just literally the same segments in the same song. And then they have a bit where Mickey comes in and entered. Oh God, I hate this part. This part sucks ass. All right, we need to figure this out. So yeah, and the, from the regional Fantasia though, when Mickey comes on, he sounds a lot better. Oh shit, my guy's dying. He sounds a lot better than he did in the original. I guess they, whoever it is, it's like the modern voice actor. God damn it, where's my Dracquack? How did he get down here? <laughs> Why is he dead? I think he tried to walk through the lasers and he died. Alright, come back up here. We need to leave. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Alright. They're, they're really actually getting killed by the laser. I can't do anything about it because they won't come over here. I hate these stupid things. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> They're dead, okay? Uh, next segment. Actually, no. Yeah, next segment. Mickey introduces... He comes on camera again, and he introduces the next segment. Uh, Pomp and Circumstance. It, it's, this is the one with Donald, and he's, uh, he's doing the arc. Like, he, he's being appointed to, to do the arc with the animals, and, uh... I think the song choice is weird. He, Pump and Circumstance, you've heard this song. This is the uh, stereotypical, like, graduation song. The... Dun, 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 you know... Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't... I don't know why it's there. Um, <laughs> I, I don't like it. <laughs> I I think Daisy and Donald are there, and they have, but they get separated throughout the whole thing, and it, it's kind of playing on like the oh no, will they uh, will they get through? Will they finally meet and like confess their love to each other or some bullshit like that? But they the way it starts, it's like they already they were already living together, so I assume they were already you know romantically involved but it, the way that segment ends it's like oh they finally they're finally together in the new promised land uh oh god now we have to take the elevator boo, boo, boo. my head hurts i w i stayed up a little bit because i was waiting for the person to get back to me so we could meet and then they never did <laughs> okay what do I have with these guys? Blade charge? I think that might suck here, but I I just need something there. 
I need something else that isn't Rising Wing. I hate Rising Wing now. Okay, I'm back. I had to do some uh, spirit management. Uh, I I'm still pretty bad stat wise. I don't have like a lot of like good reload things on, and I I still don't have like air combo pluses or I, I don't have enough of those. Uh, uh. Ow, ow, ow. So. The next part, uh, I don't remember who introduces it. Um, this is also the last part, too. Oh, my God. It's... Oh, Jesus! It's, uh... <laughs> it's the Firebird Suite. Yeah, hey, I don't remember who talks about it or who, who's introduced it. Um, it's comparable to Night and Bone Mountain, but, uh... Just in terms of, like... A, very like evil chaotic thing going on like it, the fire bird like the actual creature gets compared to Chernobog a lot they're actually not that the same and I, I, in fact I mean like uh Chernobog is like much cooler <laughs> as like as, in, as an entity or, like his inspiration um okay something is happening he just starts walking when I'm trying to hold forward <laughs> I hope that hasn't been happening to me on Smash. Like, I haven't... I've been playing pretty well, and I haven't run into, like, too many weird things. Or any other, any other games I've been playing. Like, I haven't run into too much of that stuff. But, like, gosh, that's unfortunate. But, anyway, yeah, the Firebird Suite, I don't remember how it goes. It's one of those songs that's just, like doesn't it's it's like it's a it's appropriate sounding but it doesn't really go with the music the animation does not match really um it's about the the forest spirit or mother nature or whatever you want to call her stop hurting my friends uh she it just shows her uh doing nature stuff <laughs> trying to build her nature army because she's evil, the secret... Uh, game theory, what if the nature spirit is secretly evil? <laughs> Whoa. This is kind of trippy. Uh, you know, all in all, I think I like Sora's Bart part more. You're, you're climbing this gigantic skyscraper as Riku, and it's not fun to navigate. I thought there was something there, and there wasn't. <laughs> oh, gosh, dang it. All right. Un... Yeah, and then the f she tries to, like, bring to life this egg. It's the phoenix egg inside of this mountain. And then the egg comes to life, and it's, like, a giant firebird phoenix thing. And then it burninates the entire countryside, just like Trogdor. Um, there's not a whole lot of visual chaos going on compared to Chernobog. Uh, you know, oh, I see what's happening here. Oh, I can't air dash here. Oh, I'm surprised I even made that. Wait, am I supposed to? Yes, he's not doing what I want him to sometimes. Uh, anyway. Yeah, the Firebird destroys everything in like a minute. <laughs> it doesn't have a lot of on-screen time. Um, Skelter Wilds. Those things are stupid, and I don't like them. It doesn't have a lot of on-screen time, and then once it burninates everything and kills the, uh... <laughs> oh, it doesn't kill her, but, um, it kind of, like, just, uh, temporarily destroys the, uh, the, the, the forest lady. And she is trying to recuperate uh, what's going on. She, <laughs> she, what's going on? This is beautiful hearing myself describe fucking Fantasia 2000. What is happening? I need to air out my controller or something. There's too much dust keeping it from like going sometimes. Gosh. And. It's just, it's another, like, solid ten minutes of her walking around the desolate land. 
and trying to figure out how to replant everything. And yeah, I don't even remember how the song is going at that point. It's just... It gets it goes from like really intense to kind of just somber and then just like calm, uh, and it it's just and it's just played over the the forest girl trying to rebuild and then she does rebuild and then it's all happy and nice and then it just ends. <laughs> it kind of just ends. The only difference between Fantasia or maybe just for, for what I saw and the uh, the means I had to go through to watch it um, it just seems like they both just kind of end <laughs> once the final song plays nobody like comes out to say and that was Fantasia 2000 um, we cover a lot of cultures here we did this we did that blah 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 uh, Sora don't you gotta wake up you gotta go woke or go broke Sora come on you're going broke right now stop Stop it! Stop! And... Uh, yeah, at least Fantasia 2000 actually had credits. Because when I watched Fantasia the original, the last song plays, and then... And then that's it. It just, it just ends. <laughs> but, uh, overall... I don't remember what I thought overall about Fantasia. At least most of the, uh, the things were original. And the same goes for uh, Fantasia 2000, but... In terms of quality, um, two shorts that I like out of eight is pretty bad. And one of them is just The Apprentice again, so it's two out of seven that I actually like. And I figure, you know, it must have sucked because they never tried, like, another modern uh, symphony ever again. Like, there's no Fantasia 2020 or, or nothing to really, like mark the decades going by after Fantasia 2000 it's just I don't know what they I don't know what other like kind of um symphony music they could have tried you know like they could have tried other genres too ouch he took all my health can I just heal that off yes I can <laughs> oh this guy is fucked up he's making me go backwards in time and okay yeah, I, they they never tried it again. And you know what? I also say the Firebird would have been a sick ass boss for Kingdom Hearts, just like Chernabog, or maybe a secret boss somewhere. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa! This guy inflicts poison. This guy is weird. Okay, this guy is called the Anti Black Coat Nightmare. So he's like four different kinds of creature. He's an anti. Oh, you're anti? <laughs> he doesn't like... He'll go out of his way to call out artists drawing underage characters. But secretly, they really like that shit because they're weird. Oh, everyone pay attention to me so that um, you all know that I don't like this. But I'm calling out this person to get the attention off of me. That's what I think anti people do. Just saying and then he's black which means he's woke and then he's coat which means he's he's a black coat from organization 13 but he's not he's a nightmare he's an anti-black coat nightmare there's too many things going on with this character ouch stop i that attack is kind of moot because you could just heal it off um so yeah, I don't really understand the lore implications of anti-black coat nightmare. So the best way, oh you know what? I should have brought Thunder Dash. Thunder Dash is good against this guy because it actually helps you catch up with him. All right, so I have Blade Charge. I, I I've said before I don't like its wind up, but we'll see how it does here. God damn it, dude! I'm really sick of your shit, anti-black coat nightmare. None of those even hit me. <laughs> Alright. And I think the music here is cool. But I don't know. I'm think I've been thinking like what would be the potential Oh my god! I didn't even have time to come out of it. Oh jeez. I have to beat this guy before this video ends. I don't know, they could have tried like 
they could have had like just different musical modern musical groups come on and do Fantasia. Like, you know, Intercella 5555 five, five, five is like kind of a a, a modern ish Fantasia. They could have had Daft Punk do a bit in it. They could have had like uh, Dead Mouse do a bit in it. I don't know. Just uh, other. There's, there's modern musical groups. Like, they could have had an electro swing bit. Um, you know, other things could have gone into a modern Fantasia. It would have been cool. And, and they had. I don't know what modern classical music sounds like, but I it would have been cool to see. Like, give that kind of group attention um because I, I really don't know exactly fantasia could do its job and like actually bring forth like other mediums or not um other genres oh fuck let's see if i can oh my god this guy is annoying i don't remember having that much trouble or i especially remember having a lot of trouble with the uh Oh, what? I don't know why my Kirag is going so fast, actually. Oh, fucking just stop. Which one is the one where he takes your health? I, I want to avoid that. Well, oh, okay, it's that. But does it come, like, especially fast when you're being attacked by that? That's interesting. Ah, oh, fuck. So is it like followed by something? I'm trying to read his pattern here. Oh, it, uh, yeah, it seems like if you have a heal, it comes back faster. Oh, is he taking my health too? Okay, let's see if I can dodge it next time he does it. I took off sliding sidewinder so that I can spam dodge. And so far, it's working. Okay, he's gonna do the thing. Or not. There we go. Oh, god damn it. No! Ugh. Ah! You motherfucker. God, Riku is so fucking slow at attacking. Sora is so much faster. Ugh. Oh, God damn it. Okay. I wonder if you can you like cut him off or something? Uh, you know what the other problem is? I keep being like right next to him when he's uh... Oh, you know what's also weird? I just noticed that uh, He has like a, a blade attack kind of like um Young Xehanort from Birth by Sleep the secret boss when he's a mysterious figure. So like why does he why does he? Why? <laughs> what? What is going into this boss? I never really tried to put it together. Oh my god! He's gonna hit me. Okay, that fucked me. I was trying to land and heal myself, but I was coming out of the animation. Ah, oh, god damn it! I like that you can do that against him. That's cool. Oh, god damn it. You know what sucks is sometimes he decides to pursue you after taking your health. So it's like, it's just, it's not consistent, this guy. Ooh, who did that? 
Well, that counts as a thing? Alright. Uh. I just healed myself! Come on! Uh. And why wouldn't it let me do the reality shift against him? Oh my god. Do Yay! That's why you always gotta have at least one range. You know what? I could have just walked into this with like six balloon runs, but you know what? I didn't. Also, I didn't invest in magic as Riku, so it wouldn't make sense. I do think anti black coat looks cool. It's just, it's literally just an organization 13 coat, but with like purple stuff on it. And it's like, is he a dream eater? Is he a, he's a nightmare. So, but like, was he a dream eater? Uh, I, I don't understand. Like, who's, whose thing is that? Who, whose man's is this? Sora, don't go chasing waterfalls, because if you do. What you need to do is like to the rivers and things that you're used to. Oh, Sora's road. Look up to my world. Look up to my world. Yeah, he's still he's knights in the nightmare, of course. Um, I might be stuck here because <laughs> Riku's final part is the longest part. So I'm going to I'm going to pause and have to do another session like right now.